up, big up everybody out there, man. You know, I got to shave and all that. You know, I still got my little haircut looking fresh, you know. A little salt and pepper here be kicking in. But, um, we all getting ready for this New Year's and shit. 220 coming up. A lot of people been asking, you know, they said, well, set my phone down. You know, they say, well, I put something bad on in that. I said, well, um, what's up with all the songs and shit? I'll tell you what's up with all the songs and all that. Because I knew this day was coming. We see, everybody want to vision the end of the world in so many different ways, you know. Some people say it's going to go by fire, it's going to go by water. You know, me, I just went for my God to let me know what's up. You know, I'm going to always be solo like this, you know. Could be a curse. You know, but got my little female friends, but sometimes I just can't trust everybody, you know. And, um, fortunately, I can't work anymore. You know, I made a promise to the Social Security lady that it wasn't going to work, you know. Kind of disappoint my payee while I was working and getting disability. Because she was like, well, you was already getting 800 Why was you making an extra 500 Why? You know, and, and, you know, just a bunch of whys, but you got to rewind the story back. Because, you know, my P.E. looked in the eyes and was lawyer. This Lisa was lawyer of Marcus. Lawyer of Gator. You see what I'm saying? So, those guys, she helped beat a case, Marcus, be the whole case with a key. You know, I don't know the situation. I was young back then. Did it say somebody said it was his? Had no proof it was his. You know. I big up to Miss Lisa for getting them off that. You know? <clears throat> but, you know, Marcus had a little cousin. They said, yo, man, the Gibbs got a little Pharisee in the family. And they said, man, what Pharisee doing in the family? You know, so... I never thought, you know, I'd be a hustler one day. I never thought, you know, I would live that life. But, you know what I mean? My grandma Ma was just to represent for me as a kid coming up, though. You see what I'm saying? Even back in the Cheddar side of James Island, all in the West side, you know what I mean? In the mall, you know, my grandma used to be like, you know, y'all got a little Pharisee coming real soon, you know what I mean? He only could be with y'all for a little while, but he's going to be different than everybody else out there. You see what I'm saying? And <clears throat> time went by, you know what I mean? MWA music was going on. My cousin Marcus Gibbs been bumping hard. Everybody would love him. Gator, my cousin Gator, everybody would love him. You know, and then they got locked up. But before they got locked up, you know, I had fun with Marcus. You know what I mean? We went to the hotels, you know, with the hot tubs and shit, with the big booty girls, you know. Uh, we had matching benzes and matching benzes and shit. You know, we've been... You know, we've been real cousins and shit, you see what I'm saying? I'm not going to get into the darker side of that, but, you know, I just didn't want to, you know, and back to the story, you know, when I started hustling, you know, the first lawyer I got was Lisa, because I knew she was the best, you know what I mean? And yeah, I remember, you know, <clears throat> when I was doing my dirt, and she always used to say, hey, 
Only real mans go to jail for their own crime. Even Jesus would appreciate that. So, you know, when I went to prison, I went to jail by me. You see what I'm saying? Me. I lost everything. You see what I'm saying? I lost the crib, lost the girl, lost the money. I call it the devil's do when I was in jail. You see what I'm saying? I wrote stories about it. Like, yeah, nigga, I've been balling out of control. You know my motherfucking cousin. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and the stories, you know, for five years when I've been in Libra, you know, the stories beginning to shorten. And then that's when a pastor was in the Libra prison. And he was just talking. And <clears throat> I was explaining my situation. And he said, well, put your name in this hat along with everybody else in prison. You know what I mean? Because I'm trying to take y'all to a level two yard. You know what I mean? But you know, my name popped up in that hat. Because he told me to pray to my God that I leave this level three yard with all these killers. And I was comfortable in the level three yard. My cousin Gator was in the level three in Libra. My, I mean, shit, I was smoking weed every day in Libra. I was comfortable. But, you know, wherever my God want me to be, I'll be. And my guard just took me out of there and went to Libra, but I saw my old plug again. You see what I'm saying? I saw a big Georgie, cocaine George, you know what I mean? And it, and it was always the love, you see what I'm saying? Because in the street, you got to be real, man. Because in jail, everybody real, man. Everybody go down for their own shit. Some people don't. Some people rats, you see what I'm saying? But, you know, I got out of jail and I did my thing, you know, and God... Bless me with social security. And I promised right then and there I was going to turn my life around. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> and that's what I did. So, you know, now that a whole year that went by, and this is the closing end of the year, and the social security hit everybody. But I was the first, you know what I mean, to get money off of them and still be working. I was definitely the first. I apologize. She accepted it. Whatever she give me, you know, in the next fall, of my, that'll be fine, too. Because, you know, like I said, I, I got, I'm like Chucky. I knew something like this was going to happen. That's why I prepared for it. And, you know, I got my roommate now giving me a little $100 a week because I can't take it. I can't take being broke. And I'm ready. I'm always, I'm always ready. Do you smell what I'm cooking? So, you know. I had my opportunities at work. You know, I gave it the, the, the best shot. You see what I'm saying? I still say one job, lady, I could have go to, and I don't even think I would have been in this situation right now of not working, period, and, and all this. I don't even think I would have been in this situation. But, you know, I promised Social Security I was going to do it. They didn't even ask where the money coming from. You know, because they giving me their money, but they don't know where the fuck the rest of the money coming from. So that's why I got to have a roommate, because I'm not with hustling anymore. So I just like to close this. Oh, before I close my story, I like to close my story. Just last night, you know, in the middle of the blank, you know, they're impeaching Donald Trump. He's in a rally, you know what I mean? And at the same time, Nancy's... Impeaching him and shit, you know what I mean? He's tripping by somebody that's dead, and he's just, you know, he got his own little type crowds going on. I was on his side until he didn't help me. Because Jeezy didn't help me, he just laughed at me. Laughed at Mr. Rakim. I mean, Fahrenheit, but like, okay, we got Sex Buddy going on. We got Feeling Myself on YouTube now, Jeezy. He see those songs. He know who we are, but he didn't care. You see what I'm saying? And this this was since 2011, and I was stuck. I couldn't even get on YouTube to talk about it. You know what I mean? I called TooHot.com. I see your man, Swagger Man. I don't understand. I know we see TE, but I don't understand how a millionaire, Reverend nigga broke and shit. And back then, he used to just say, yo, man, just keep getting his albums, man. You know what I'm saying? We sending it to you in the mail. You got you got platinum albums at the same time. If he dropped one, you dropping two behind his. But yours platinum. 
you selling it on the street and making your money, you getting bread. But it's different because Jeezy know it's different. I mean, you're worldwide getting money. All you gotta do is connect me. But it's a whole new year. Got plan to hit the studio no matter what. And drop that radio hit. Got plan to still be with my God no matter what. And three, I'm gonna have faith in 2020. The same way I had faith all the way up to 2020. Only the strong survive. Remember that. Maybe the end for me, but I always keep a backup plan.